and I am by myself. <laughs> so I decide we're going to the emergency room. So Turn and I help him get dressed, get his shoes on, and Turn's not even dressed at this point. So we're walking him to the garage, and as we're walking down the garage stairs to get him into the car, he starts full on seizing. Guys, turns on babysitting duty tonight because I am having a fun sister night. If you watched my choir video, you know that I have missed my sister so much. I saw her for a very short time for Penny's recital a couple weeks ago, but truly like hanging out, we haven't seen each other for months. I don't even know how it's possible for her family to have gotten as many sicknesses as they've gotten. Starting to wonder if they walk around like licking walls and like <laughs> eating dirt. Eating a pile of dirt for 45 minutes. No, I'm just teasing. It's probably <laughs> But like even Stephanie herself, how many things do you think you've had this winter? Oh, just in the last like two months, I've had like five things. Just in the last two months. And then your girls probably double that. Mm -hmm. It's been insane. No I felt so bad for her. It's one of those things where she would text me and be like, I don't even know how this is happening, but we're somehow we're sick again. And then she would say that again. And then she would say that again. And I'd be like, my jaw can't drop any further. Like it was crazy. So she's healthy, I'm healthy. And we are doing something really fun tonight. Honestly, we could sit in this car for the next seven hours and just chat and that would be super fun. <laughs> but we're actually going to a place called Salty City Jewelry Co tonight. And we are making rings. They have all these beautiful gems. I don't even know how it works, but I'm excited. It's gonna be super fun. <laughs> Me too. picking out our stones right here and they all have different gem healing properties which is kind of cool so we're reading all about them right now I'm kind of leaning towards this one right here and little sis is trying to decide if we're gonna have like BFF rings matching or if she's gonna go with her own we could do hearts <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest part right here. Look at all these gorgeous stones. I can't even decide. We definitely went for sister friendship rings. We got same color stone, same kind of band, same kind of bezel. I showed you the stones, but then they also show you all these different kinds of bands that you can choose from. It's a lot of choices. There's too many choices. It's hard for us. <laughs> and then all these bezels, they call them, which is what surrounds the ring. This is so fun. First time cutting metal. No pressure. <laughs> Good. It's like the tiniest bit. Is that enough? No, definitely not. I'm probably gonna end up in the hospital. <laughs> Is that good? Maybe. I'm not the teacher. We've got to ask. you guys I'm back home now my sister and I we did our usual we chatted for hours and hours and hours because that's what sisters do and we had so much fun tonight it was so fun to be with her it's been way too long and I can't wait to show you my final product my ring but I don't have it with me because if you get it gold or rose gold they dip it for you after you're all done making it and then you have to pick it up the next day so we chose rose gold with our pink stone it is going to be so gorgeous can't wait to show you our friendship sister rings <laughs> But it was a really cool experience. I had no idea how to do any of the stuff that we did tonight or even the process of what goes into shaping metal and all this cool stuff. We used torches and learned all sorts of cool things I've never had any idea about. So super fun girls night and now I'm headed to bed. Okay, you guys, part two of our video <laughs> was going to be very different than it is now. As you can see, Justin's home now. Back, baby, <laughs> back in action. I was going to record us going up to State Cup with Turin. Turns out he's still super sick, but his turn's not really sick like this either. No, he got Literally hit with something hard. I yeah. feel so bad for him. Worse than whatever I had, for sure. Such an awful way to start the summer. I ended up having the craziest Saturday. It was a first for me. So I went out with my sister last night and then came home. And last night through the night, Landon wasn't sleeping very well. So he was up all night. And then the very next morning, Ashton woke me up and said, mom, Landon's having a focal seizure. So he had another one and another one. And this seems to be his new pattern. He has a bunch of focal seizures that just keep getting worse and 
worse and worse until it turns into a full-blown seizure. Full blown seizure. So just as a reminder, Justin is still on his guy's trip at this point. So I'm by myself. It's the first time that I've ever been by myself. Little seizures have happened before. This turned into a much bigger thing. So they were down in the basement hanging out and I was kind of just keeping an eye on him and Ashton ran up and was like, mom, he's having another one. So this was like number four or five. So Turin and I go downstairs. I wake up Turin because he's sound asleep because he's sick. And he's on one side, I'm on the other side and we're just kind of helping him walk up the stairs because they're starting to affect him at this point. You know, he doesn't have like a ton of strength and we just want to make sure he doesn't fall. At that point, I just decided that I know his pattern. I know what's going to happen. I'm not even going to try to do the at-home medication. It never works. And I am by myself. <laughs> so I decide we're going to the emergency room. So Turin and I help him get dressed, get his shoes on and Turin's not even dressed at this point. So we're walking him to the garage and as we're walking down the garage stairs to get him into the car, he starts full on seizing. So my instincts were right. It was going in a bad direction and I just knew it. So it got a little bit stressful at that point, you know, because here I am and thankfully Turin's as big as he is and as capable as he is and able to help me. I was so grateful for his help. So he's helping me get him in the car, but it's really not easy at this point because he is just stiff as a board. You know, when he's full on seizing, his whole body is like stiff as a board. So he becomes a lot of just like dead weight. Yes. It's not easy to move. Well, that's the other thing is, you know, he's getting older, so I can't handle him as easily as Justin can. And it's a little bit intimidating, you know, to be the driver and guide my kids through taking care of him. So Ashton's running in the house to get Ava, to get Turin clothes. Turin's in the back seat trying to hold up Landon's head. I'm helping him. And we got everybody as fast as we could, jumped in the car. I'm driving. At first, Turin and Ashton were really emotional. And I love that about them because they just love their brothers so much. But very quickly, they just turned into the most incredible brothers I could have ever asked for. In fact, it's probably my favorite part of the entire story was just watching them. Turin was holding up his head in the back seat. We always need two people. Someone has to drive and somebody has to help him. Landon was pretty much actively seizing the entire way there. And Turin was just holding his head up and he was just like, you're doing such a good job. I'm so proud of you. And it was just making me so emotional. So we got there between all of us. We got him in the wheelchair and into the, you know, the emergency room. We didn't went through the whole drill of getting him the medication that he needed to stop the seizures. But it turned out to be a very different weekend than I was expecting. So it was definitely a stressful experience, especially doing it without Justin. But it was such a special experience to just see his siblings rally around him, to see how much they love him, and to just feel like that God sent him these siblings because they are just incredible to him. We ended up having so many little angels help us get turn soccer clothes and get a ride to his state cup once Landon was managed and got home. And now Justin's home and everything's all good. But that's why I really haven't been videoing this weekend because it's just it's been a crazy couple of days over here. Landon's doing awesome now. And we're just kind of trying to figure out what's going on with him. This is the second medication that we've tried. And it kind of just seems like every three months we end up in the emergency room and you know, we, we really have pretty much tried everything. So yeah, we have. Yeah. If anybody has had really stubborn epilepsy and has any tips, please email Let us, us comment down below. We would be just so grateful. Yeah, yeah. Email us. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So we are heading into the first official week of summer and we are going to have a much better week this week. I'm positive of it. It's Ava's birthday and I don't know. Do you think we should take the boat out soon? Oh, yeah. We're so excited for summer. So things are only looking up from here. Justin's home. So make sure you come back this week. We've got a lot of fun things planned. Thanks for being here. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.